It's still really difficult to get a PS5 in New Zealand. I know, I tried for a while as well. Although for myself, I had been at the checkout for a PS5 multiple times, it's just that I could never get myself to pay for one. But finally, in 2022, I managed to pick one up. Hi, I'm Wires from WiresTech.org, and today I'm going to be going over a few methods to be getting a PS5 at retail price. Also, most retailers do their drops online so they cannot sell one to you in person, nor will they know when they get dropped. But sometimes it's worth it to ask as they may know something about it. See method 2 to see what I'm talking about. Note this will also work for getting an Xbox Series X which is even easier in New Zealand as some listings stay up for hours or even days. Method 1 is probably the most effective. You will need a Twitter account and to download Twitter on your phone is usually what I find the most effective. Once you've done that, follow these two accounts. The first one is at New Zealand Restock Alerts, NZ Restock Alerts, and the second one is a New Zealand PS5. For both accounts, you will want to turn on the notification settings. Basically, these are two bot accounts that both track PS5 and Xbox Series X listings in New Zealand. Hopefully, you will receive a notification in time to click on the link sent out and purchase a PS5 from a retailer in New Zealand. Usually, the notifications will come through email or they'll come through your phone, which is I usually find the most effective as sometimes the email takes a little bit while longer. The second method is to look around and ask around for pre-orders. Now one note on pre-orders is that they may take a while to come in as shipping times can be different and just the lead times can be a bit long. In fact, this is how I got my own PS5 in February. I had been told by a friend that EB Games was taking pre-orders so I went in and asked and they were at the time in February 2022 taking pre-orders. So I paid a deposit of $300 down and I'm literally not kidding, about one and a half weeks later, the PS5 disc edition came in for me and I paid off the rest. It was super easy and in my case, the PS5 came in super quickly. I've also heard that JB Hi5 might be taking pre-orders so that is something to consider and you might have to ask them in person. There are a few different retailers taking pre-orders but as far as I know it's EV Games and I think JB hi -Fi. Lastly is the Cheapies NZ method. Cheapies.nz is a deals website where people post awesome deals every day for New Zealand. I browse this website literally every day. So Cheapies NZ will need someone to manually post a deal like Reddit for a deal to show up. So a lot of the times, PS5s are already gone by the time someone posts a link up. As they are most likely also using the Twitter bot method to see when the PS5 listings are coming up. So this would probably be one of the least effective methods. Also, I have seen the market, which is owned by the warehouse to PS5 drops as well. And sometimes you can add their 5% off or 10% off discount code as well when you pay. So that's awesome to see as well, the market.co.nz. Now I know that there are different botting and discord groups dedicated to buying PS5 and scalping PS5s, but I have never used them as I don't know how to get into them, nor that I want to. But that could be another method to getting a PS5, just it's not one of the ones I would probably recommend. Personally, I've stuck to my three methods and I actually did get one in the end. So I hope this video helped out. Check out wirestech.org for some more awesome content, but other than that, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.